Oh man, <clears throat> good morning guys. Uh, it may not be morning when I load this, upload this video. Anyway, I was about to uh, head out to the, the gym here. And uh, I was watching a video uh, Millennial Prepper did. It was a video about stocking up on toilet paper and what to do, her ideas uh, on what to do when uh, toilet paper runs out. Because no matter how much you stock up, you're going to run out. So, I'm not going to really do any research on this. I'm just going to go with what I've learned, heard, and been through myself. Make a quick response because, you know, it's something I've thought of from time to time being a prepper myself. And she does a... I, I like her channel. She, I, I like her channel. She's, she's a good girl. Um, anyway, I, uh, I remember back in high school. I was listening to the radio. I used to get there before my buddies. I got there a little earlier. You know, we just, of course, hang out. And um, on the radio, I forget what station it was. I forget, you know, who, who it was on the radio. This is this was a long time ago, man. It's like, shit, seventeen years ago. Anyway, eighteen years ago. Anyway, the guy said that only fifteen percent of the world uses toilet paper. And I was really shocked by that. I mean, you know, about 17 years old, and you're like, oh, you know, really takes you by surprise. And they were talking about a bunch of alternatives, right? Some of the alternatives were, of course, leaves, sand, rope, which I'm like, huh? And, of course, you know, somebody would, of course, is the... Uh, weirdos out there but the bare hand right and uh you know that i've seen <laughs> i remember down uh there was a pizza hut in east east austin years ago uh was i in i think i was a freshman in high school anyway we go in there me and my buddies and you know gotta go take a leak and you can see where somebody just you know see crap and just were handprints smeared on the wall <laughs> so uh yeah i i can see that happening <clears throat> that's uh yeah that freaked me out when i saw that lost my appetite anyway but those are some of the things used i remember in the movie broken trail which i know it's not like somebody went in a time machine and filmed it but uh anyway old robert duvall's in there and he saw his nephew brought some therapeutic papers, they call it, from the general store. He grabbed that box and he ran off into these bushes. His nephew told him that the, uh, the guy at the store promised him that it didn't have any wood chips or splinters in it. And then a minute or two later, he's like, well, well how about it? Any wood chips or splinters? And Robert Duvall says, well... It sure beats sagebrush and corn cobs any day. And I thought about it like, well, I guess, I guess that would work. You know, it wouldn't be ideal, but it would work. Uh, and then my own experience, man. I remember I was, uh, this is in the Philippines. I'm in Manila heading to um, Mindoro, right? And you just call it the province. But anyway, I'm heading out there. And you have to take boats, man. It was a hell of a journey, man. You walk for a while. Uh, subway. Take a, a jipney. A three-hour, like a Greyhound. It was a three-and-a-half-hour big old Greyhound bus. Or gray, greyhound stop bus. And then an hour-and-a-half boat ride. Anyway, getting on that boat, you know. And I'm eating all the stuff, like like in Mexico or something. You just got a bunch of street vendors selling stuff. And, I mean, it's unrefrigerated. You got, you know, you look carefully. Some of these places, they'll have flies all over the stuff. Um, but, you know, hell, I got a pretty tough stomach. I, it upset my stomach a little bit. I wasn't sick. I didn't get sick the whole time. And that's like, you know, we left chicken out overnight and eat the next day for breakfast. So, um, like my buddy said, uh, I told him about that story. Like, well... You got a uh, 
and what do you say, a Mexican iron stomach or something like that? And I'm like, well, yeah, but I'm, I'm not Mexican. And he's like, well, you still got the stomach. I'm like, okay, well, all right, I guess so. But uh, it did upset my stomach, whatever it was. And I'm on the, uh, the boat. I gotta go to the restroom real quick, man. I can feel, you know, when you're, you can, your stomach's just making all kinds of weird noises and just churning, man. Feels like a washing machine or something. <clears throat> anyway, and I'm in the bathroom, and I, see, I walk in there, I see there's no seat on the toilet. There's no toilet paper. There's not even a little uh, toilet paper holder. It's just, there's just a short cut garden hose, right? And uh, it was just like a, a switch or something you could do with your foot. Just turn it off and on. <laughs> so, uh, and there's a, uh, a sink with a, and a small soap dispenser. So, I don't know how I figured it out, you know, but when I heard the captain, okay, you have two or was it three minutes or so, you have to be in your seat. They're going to come around, make sure everybody's in their seat and buckled up. Man, I figured out how to use that. That garden hose real quick. And I mean quick. I didn't have a choice. And I didn't get water all over the floor. I didn't get water all over you know, my socks or anything. I was surprised at how I figured it out that quick because I had no choice. And at work, you know, we like to use the, the, the term rocket surgeon, man. So, I mean, you don't have to be a fucking rocket surgeon to uh to figure this out right people have had that problem way before we had toilet paper so uh yeah you you, you can figure it out it's a it's a pain in the behind it's freaky but you know i mean I, I figured it out real quick and also back in the philippines they use what they call the tabo system which is a soap and water wash which if you really think about it it's it's the better way to go man Okay, think about this. If someone had a gun to your head and they said you're going to eat off a plate somebody shit on, but you have a choice. They're going to either wash this plate with soap and water or or they're going to wipe it down with some dry paper. Which one would you choose, man? I mean, really, if you think about that, well, then which one is actually the cleaner system? She had a great idea, though, uh, about looking at up leaves. I think that's that'd be a way to start off but also I think it you know put some bar soap aside and if you can find a renewable water source you know then right there you know finish yourself up with the the soap water which is really a, a cleaner way to go than than toilet paper alone of course you got your wet wipes but honestly let's say you stock up a bunch of wet wipes have you ever really stocked those things up I have I put them aside, and I remember I uh, I had some in my my suitcase, and this was of course for trips to the Philippines. But basically, all I got throw in there, you know, is socks and underwear, and I'm ready to go right now for a couple weeks. But uh, you know, I always get uh, a few items and throw them in there. I, I've got it set up, ready to go, and I had some uh, some wet wipes in there, a couple packages. And, you know, I pulled them out. I found something. Like, you know what? I'm going to put this in the case. I found some belt or something. I forget what it was. It was a belt. Like, you know what? I like this belt. It was a belt where you can... Have, it's a, a money belt. It looks like a plain leather belt. You open it up. It's got a little zipper for money and some important information. Like, I'm going to keep this, you know, J-I-C. And I opened it up to put that belt in there. And then I saw the wet wipes. And I'm like, you know, I touched it. And they were really weird. It was like a kind of kind of firm. Like, huh, they should be kind of, you know... you crush a package of wet wipes it's like like this play-doh or something in there but it was weird it was different i opened it up they were dry right so that made me think i'm like well hell you know i'm putting all these uh wet wipes aside they're gonna dry out and sure enough you know bust open that big old box they're all, they're, they're hardly moist at all so stocking up on wet wipes that's not gonna work man uh unless you guys have a you no know, really good Wet wipes, they, they package uh, their, their stuff really good so they don't dry out. Or, I mean, you know, it was like a year or something that that package did. So anyway, uh, you know, if you, you know a package that doesn't dry out, hey, let me know. 
Um, but anyway, that's my thoughts on that. I'm going to get going. Uh, Lenial Prepper, good channel. You got to check it out. She, she has some good stuff. Um, kind of newer to the uh, YouTube community, but good videos, good topics. And uh, I listen to her, and it's like, you know, sometimes like, man, did she did she read my fucking mind? I mean, you know, she we're we're on uh, we're on the same page on a lot of stuff. Uh, she she's got a good channel. Check that out. I'll leave her her uh, the link to her video in the description bar. And um, you guys leave your comments. You know, you got an idea, you got better ideas than that. You know, I'm all for it. It's something I've thought of from time to time, which is why I was able to. You know, with all these ideas off the cuff. But anyway, you guys let me know what you think. I've gotten hooked on this stuff here. Um, let me know what you think. In the comment section, of course, all the good stuff. Share, like, and subscribe. And check out our channel. It's a good channel. Okay, that's it for me, guys. I'm out. Y'all have a good one. Adios.